Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on this four hour time frame for Bitcoin, because right now we are pumping massively to the upside as Bitcoin has reached into this critical level of resistance, sitting from 60,000 all the way up to 62.4K. Now, in the case that you see Bitcoin breaking above this 62.4K level, then potentially we could be heading up into this next level of resistance above that, sitting from 65,000 all the way up to 66,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. However, keep in mind that this is a big level of resistance, so it is possible to get a rejection back down from this level or to spend some time trading sideways as well. So keep that in mind. Now, in the case that you actually see this rejection back down from Bitcoin, so we start trading below 60,000 US dollars. The next big level of support below that is sitting from 58,000 US dollars all the way down to $56,000 for the Bitcoin price. So these are some levels you could be looking out for on the four hour as well as the higher timeframes here. Although there are also some smaller levels of support and resistance that we should be taking into consideration. We have this short term level of resistance right here at about 61. 0.3k which we are potentially about to run into and right above that we have the fibonacci golden pocket sitting between the 0.65 level and the 0.618 fibonacci level so between 62.7k and 62,000 us dollars and typically the fibonacci golden pocket acts as a strong level of resistance so especially if you are in a long position right now make sure to pay attention to the price action here if we reach this level because this could be a tough level to break and again it is possible to get a rejection back down from here although in the case that we break above this fibonacci golden pocket with confirmed candle closes at least on the four hour time frame so for example seeing something like this a breakout above retest and then resumption from there then potentially you could be looking up to this next fibonacci level here which is the 0.786 sitting at 65.6k which again could act as a short term level of resistance now besides that taking a look at the rsi momentum indicator on the four hour time frame for bitcoin right now we are not close to being in overbought territory so that means that on this four hour time frame there is some more room to the upside before we actually reach overbought. So that is a good thing to see. Although, of course, on the lower time frames, like, for example, this 30 minute time frame, we are already in overbought territory. So likely sometime soon on these lower time frames, you would see the RSI kind of reset back down a little bit before then potentially making a continuation to the upside. Now, the way the RSI actually resets is either by the price just trading sideways in which case the RSI would trade down quite slowly here to around this 50 level. However, you can also get some bearish momentum in the short term, in which case the RSI would reset down more quickly to around that 50 level once again. And it can even go below the 50 level in a downtrend because 50 on the RSI is basically indicating neutral momentum in the market. So the price would be trading sideways above 50 you are in an uptrend and below 50 you are in a downtrend on the specific time frame that you are looking at of course so keep an eye on that rsi momentum indicator on the different time frames depending on which time frame you are actually trading one catalyst to this pump here today was actually the ppi data coming in lower than expected so the market decided it was time for a pump here so of course i notified the members inside the discord community by telling them exactly when all the important news is coming out this week and in fact there will be two more major news events that could potentially pump or dump the price in the short term tomorrow and the day after that because we have the cpi data as well as the unemployment data coming out and of course when this ppi data came out I, of course, tagged all the members inside the signals group. So if you want to get access to my trading signals, it is very easy. You simply join the Road to 1 Million community on Discord. You can find the link to this in the video description. And once you are in here and verified, you simply go to this trading signals access channel. You follow these three steps and you will get access to my trading signals completely for free. Now, guys, if you are not inside the server yet, I highly recommend you come join it because there will be two more major news events later this week. And of course, I cannot notify you in real time inside these videos. So again, if you want to get access to that data as it comes out, 
then come join the Discord server with the first link in the video description. Now, besides that, taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, first of all, on this three day time frame, right now, Bitcoin is grabbing a lot of liquidity to the upside here. We even have some liquidity at 61.2K. And after that, we have liquidity at 62,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price on this time frame at least. Although keep in mind that there's also quite a bit of liquidity to the downside here, as low as 57.6K. So especially with those important news events tomorrow and the day after that, if it comes out as bearish news, you need to be cautious here because we could be grabbing the liquidity to the downside. Now, I know that when we were trading down here at about 50,000 US dollars, a lot of crypto YouTubers were saying that the bull market was actually over. And I was not in that camp of people. I said at the time as well, there is a lot of liquidity to the upside here at 70.4K. And I do think we are grabbing this liquidity to the upside first before even considering talking about a bear market. Now, I might be completely wrong with this idea, but for me personally, this makes a lot of sense. And therefore, so long as we are trading inside this descending channel for Bitcoin, I do think it is likely that at some point we are going to break out of the top of this descending channel and actually grab all of the liquidity to the upside right here. Now, lastly, taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today. Yesterday, we saw a net inflow of about $30 million. So it is good to see some net inflows, although it is basically just neutral momentum from these Bitcoin ETFs, because on average, they buy $120 million worth of Bitcoin every single weekday. And therefore, a net inflow of about $30 million is relatively small. So there isn't too much else to say about this. I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with everything in the crypto markets as I do every day. So if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, then make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to come check out the Road to 1 Million community on Discord. I obviously share my own trades inside the trading signals here. But besides that, you can also see that a lot of people in my community are making profitable trades using these signals. And as I said, it is completely free, so you can just join and leave at any time. Either way, if you do end up joining or not, this has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.